Okay, so are you learning algebra? Well, if you are, that is awesome. And what I'm going to be talking about is uh, something that you need to know. Now, a lot of you um, uh, definitely should be familiar with this notation, even at the pre-algebra level, certainly the algebra one level and beyond. But you may not have uh, seen this notation right here. Matter of fact, if, you, um, if you've seen this, if you know what this is, I'm going to put that in the comments section and just tell me what uh, level of math course that you're currently in or maybe the level of uh, what course you were in. Uh, when you learn this, okay? But if you don't know what this is, stick around. This is not that difficult, but this uh, kind of notation, okay, is used in more advanced math. It's not that difficult, but I'm going to kind of introduce all of this here in one second. What we're going to be talking about is uh, set notation, interval notation. Again, really, um, for the most of you out there, this is the kind of um, thing that uh, you haven't seen. Most of you should have seen this type of notation here. But I'm going to cover all this in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get going here. And uh, again, a lot of you uh, may not have seen this more advanced notation, but stick around for a couple minutes. It's not that difficult, okay? All right, so let's take a look at uh, this first graph, okay? So we have a graph, and what is this graph saying? All right, well, the graph is uh, we're basically expressing the intervals of, or the interval of all numbers that are greater than two, but not equal to two. Okay, so this is what this means. So all, if I wanted to say, hey, give me all the values that are greater than two, but not equal to two, I'm gonna talk about all the values to the right of two on a number line. So I can write that this way, or I can write this graph like so. Now there's this other notation called interval notation and uh, this is how we would write this interval using interval notation. So in interval notation, you have a, uh, a parenthesis and you have a bracket. Okay, you use parentheses for like less than or greater than, but if we have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you use the brackets. Okay, so uh, less than or greater than, but not equal to, you use parentheses. Uh, but if we have equal to, we use the brackets. You'll see examples of this here in a second. And when it comes to infinity, infinity is always going to be uh, parentheses. Okay. So again, uh, for this uh, um, interval right here, I can write it open parentheses. This is called open parentheses two. This is my left starting point, and then I'm going in this direction to the right. So I'm open uh, parentheses two. Then you put a comma. Okay, so this is my left, and this would be like where I'm going to end up on my uh, right-hand side of the graph. And so I'm starting at a positive 2, okay, but not including that 2. And I'm heading all the way to positive infinity. So positive infinity is located here, and you guessed it, negative infinity is located there. So this would be the um, equivalent interval notation, okay? Uh, let me just go ahead and just make this crystal clear. This is the same thing as this, and this graph is the same thing as both of those things, okay? So again, you need to understand the graph, you need to understand uh, the inequality uh, notation, and you need to uh, eventually understand uh, interval uh, set notation, because you will see this in more advanced mathematics. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to practice this here. So how about this one? Well, this means um, all the values uh, greater than 2 and equal to 2, okay? So our uh, uh, basic inequality notation would be this, all x's that are greater than or equal to 2. So this is exactly like the previous problem. However, now we have equal to, so i got to close in that circle, okay? So let's make sure you understand that. Okay, so here in this previous problem, this is open circle. Then when you close it in, that means equal to, okay? But now, with our interval notation, I want all the values, uh, 2, that go to positive infinity, including 2. So that's going to be a bracket, not a parenthesis. Okay, so that means that uh, uh, 2 is part of the solution set here. So comma, positive infinity. Remember, infinity, whether it's negative infinity or positive infinity, will always uh, be capped by a uh, uh, open parenthesis or end parenthesis. It's never going to be a bracket for infinity because you really can't technically 
you know, uh, reach infinity, if you will. Okay, so uh, if that makes sense, then you are well on your way to mastering interval notation. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice this with our next little example here. So here we have negative 3 to 5. Okay, so what does this mean? I want all values of, uh, from negative 3 to 5 to include negative 3, but to not include 5. Okay, so all values including negative 3 to 5, but not including 5, i.e. 5 is not a solution. Uh, here, negative 3 is a solution. So the way I would write that with um, inequality notation is this. I want all x's that are greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than 5. Okay, that means this graph here. And then uh, from interval notation, I would have that uh, bracket at negative 3. That means that uh, negative 3 is included in our solution set. So that's our left point. Okay, and then our right point is 5, but 5 is not included, so we use that open parenthesis. Okay, so again, I told you this wasn't going to be difficult, but the way we express uh, intervals and uh, sets in more advanced mathematics is using interval notation. It's more common, but, uh, you know, you need to know that this is the same thing as this as the same thing as that graph. All right, so let's go down and do a couple other uh, problems and wrap this video up. So let's do all values less than negative 7, but not including negative 7. So here's negative 7, open circle, and here we're heading towards where? We're heading towards negative infinity. So that's what this graph means. It means all values less than negative 7, not including negative 7. And of course, I can write this as an inequality. All x is less than negative 7, just like this, which means this graph, or I can write it using my interval notation. So remember, my left-hand side now is negative infinity. Okay, not on the right. This is my left side. My left uh, behavior here, or uh, endpoint, is negative infinity. Okay, again, that's going to be open parenthesis, comma, 2, 7. That's my right-hand side, open parenthesis. Okay, so the 7 is not going to be here. Negative. When you have negative infinity, it's always going to be on the left. Uh, when you have positive infinity, it's always going to be on the right Okay. All right. So what if we wanted to express the entire real number line, this entire thing here? How could we do that? Well, you could just say that's the whole entire set of real numbers, all X's uh, uh, that are um, elements of the real number set. Or you just write this big R like that. That just means all the real numbers. But in terms of uh, interval, uh, interval uh, notation, you would write it this way. Okay. Negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. And of course, these are going to be those parentheses, not brackets. Okay, so that is just a quick um, crash course on interval uh, notation. Again, um, how many of you already knew this? Okay, and if you did learn this, so at what level of algebra or mathematics did you learn this? Again, this is going to be something you will see in your future. And you can see it's not that difficult. So if you're not you know, using this notation now, you know, maybe on your next uh, test or quiz, you use this, your teacher will be so impressed. They'll be like, oh my goodness, they'll look like, they'll be like, well, you must be watching that guy on YouTube because I never seen a student uh, put that down on a test. I haven't even taught that. I used to see that from time to time as a teacher where a student would do something that I haven't taught that was like really advanced or sophisticated. I always uh, got a big kick out of that. So anyways, if this little video helps you out in some small way, consider helping me out in any huge way by smashing that like button. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.